Today I'd like to read the book Chicken Life Cycle Series by Creative Teaching Press. Chickens strut around the barnyard. There are many kinds of chickens. These are white leghorns. The male rooster is bigger than the female hen. He has longer tail feathers too. Hens lay eggs even if there is no rooster around. If a hen mates with a rooster, he fertilizes her eggs. Then a chick will grow inside each fertilized egg. After the hen lays several eggs, she begins to brood or sit on them. Her body keeps the eggs warm. A brooding hen does not leave her eggs for long. A chick begins as a tiny spot on the yolk. In a few days, the body and tail form. The developing chick or embryo gets food from the yolk. It also gets some food and lots of water from the egg white. The embryo grows fast. After two weeks, it has feathers. About a week later, cheeping sounds come from the egg. The chick is ready to hatch. The chick uses a special egg tooth on his beak to poke a hole through the shell. Then it slowly works its way around the egg, chipping through the shell. For a small chick, this is a big job. Finally, the little bird pushes the shell apart. Out it comes, wet and weak. Young chicks stay close to their mother. They snuggle under her to keep warm. In a day or two, they begin to walk and peck the ground, looking for grain and other food. The chicks are covered with soft, downy feathers. Their constant cheeping helps their mother find them. In two to three weeks, real feathers begin to replace the chick's soft down. The chicks are growing up. They spend more and more time away from their mother. In just five months, young hens will be ready to start laying eggs. All chickens squawk and cluck, but roosters are the loudest of all. At dawn, a rooster puffs out his chest and crows as loudly as he can. He seems to be telling the world how important he is. Roosters do have an important job. By mating with hens, they help a new generation of chickens to be born. Can you put these in order? end.